Good morning, happy Wednesday. This is a surprise morning live. We're not usually here on Wednesdays, but we thought we would try it this week. And if it's successful and if you guys are happy and if you like it, maybe we'll come back to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We are still waiting for my mods to hop on. They'll be on in a minute, but until then, I just wanted to show you what we are working with today. As always, for specific questions, if you have any question for me, that's $10, Cash Shop or Venmo. And I will be using this Housewives Tarot. Um, it has been discontinued. So if you see this out there anywhere, it is fraudulent and don't buy it. You always want to support the um, artists and the creators. And then this is a fairly new deck. This was sent to me by US Games to review. Good morning. Hi, Missy. This is called The Infinite Wisdom of the Shockers. If you haven't checked out my review, check it out. I am crazy about this Oracle deck. I just feel like it was done so well. So everyone will get a free card today from the infinite wisdom of the chakras. I'm gonna go ahead and get Justina on here. Here she is. Get her on so that um, she can start taking names and everyone who drops their first name, last initial, when she asks, will get um, a card from this. We ask that you only drop your name one time. Um, because the spamming makes it hard to keep a list. And we keep a list because we never want anyone to feel like they're not being chosen. Um, I'm a Reiki energy healer. And my goal is for when you leave here for you to feel supported and like you weren't passed over. So Justina isn't on quite yet to take the names. In a second, she'll um, ping you again. She'll say um, if you could drop your names and then I'll have you drop them one more time after she asks. Um, until then, good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm drinking some a big, huge cup of coffee today. I'm gonna energetically cleanse these really, really fast. I am the chosen one, that's cool. I love that. I think we're all chosen to do different things. Good morning from Las Vegas, good morning. We're again, just waiting for Justina to pop on. When she gets on, she will be, um, Taking names, I'm gonna show you how pretty these are. This is the back of the Infinite Wisdom of the Chakra cards. So pretty. And then you guys, just a reminder that um, in the next two days, I'm going to be someone from, who's anyone who has signed up for my weekly um, Shadow Work Club, we're, this is getting raffled off. I'm just gonna show you a few of these. This is called the Mood Deck. From my home to yours, I am raffling this deck off to um, a member of my Shadowwork subscription club. And every month there'll be a new deck that I'm gonna raffle off. I'll use that deck and then um, someone will win it. So if you want to join this sh weekly Shadow Work Club, it's $10 a week and every, or no, no it isn't, I lied. It's $10 a month for the whole month and every week you get, um, a energy forecast for the week and it's a reading from me that goes into your text message and then um you get a shadow work prompt and you also get an affirmation and sometimes i do some distance um reiki healing it's the only way to get reiki energy healing for me and um other fun little giveaways and stuff like that so remember like we said only drop hi amber welcome amber hi missy and we have Justina. Drop your names one time, one time only, and we'll create a list so that everyone gets chosen. Um, we will go today until 8.30. I have my first client again today at nine. And I do actually, I had two cancellations today. So if you guys wanna see me, you can see me for as little as $44. And there are a couple cancellations. So we could work together one on one, which is so fun. All right, pretty soon Justine is going to start dropping me the names. If you guys have a specific question, you can cash up or Venmo, and that goes, um, so you go to the top of the list, and you can ask me anything, and I answer with a tarot deck. So that is where we are. Okay, Heather, you guys ready? Here we go. Hi, Heather. Heather L. Heather L. Thanks for getting here bright and early. Heather L. I want you to look at this and see what it, how it makes you feel. Third eye chakra. Ready? Let's do it together. Um, feels so good. Travel deep within your consciousness to realize your vast potential. You're being called to do a little meditation. See what you find, right? Sitting in silence. Don't be worried about monkey brain. That's just something that we all have to deal with. All right. Who is next? Who is next? 
Sarah P. Hi, Sarah P. Hi, Sarah P. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Great central sun, unity. Become aware of ideas, consciousness, and existence beyond the known. So when you start thinking of something and you're like, it's such a good idea, but I can't because of ABC. Don't think of why you can't. Think of all the reasons you can. When those ideas come to you, you know, trust that. Trust those visions. Trust that intuition. Trust that soul calling. Who is next? Welcome, everybody who's just joining. Keep tapping the screen for the moderators. They um, keep the energy right and tight over here for my stroke brain when I'm channeling. Very similar to the last one. This is for Michelle M. This is the sh throat chakra, spacious. Find the opening of your voice and expression. So if you feel like there's something you need to say and you don't know how to say it, trust me that you have the power to say it. Don't overthink it. Don't worry too much, but feel, know that you're being energetically supported to say whatever it is you need to, no matter how difficult. And anyone who can't create space for you and love for you when you're trying to talk about things that are extraordinarily difficult for you, you know, th those are some of the people that need releasing. Um, who is next? Keep those hearts coming. Think those hearts coming. And I love the gifts. I think I missed a couple, but I love, they mean the world to me. You guys have no idea. It helps me make payroll. It helps me with everything. So thank you. Drew W. Hey, Taylor. Good morning. Drew W. Let me look. Tree rooted. Find harmony by planting your roots deep within the earth. Oh, I love it. All right. Who is next? Who is next? And if you guys send a cash shop or Venmo, can you go ahead and let me know? Because I often don't get the alerts. Sarah G. Sarah G. So beautiful. Insight. Spiritual teacher. Connect with a spiritual teacher and tap into their higher wisdom. Well, you're doing it. You're here. You're here with me. If you, this is a call, though. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, whether you know you can only afford this um, shadow work texting club, it still really gives you some insight and you're constantly working on your stuff. And I'm always available by appointments that start at low as 44. Um, Donna, you only need to drop your name one time, drop your first name, last initial, and you will definitely get put on the list. Um, and you only need to drop your names once. You are so welcome. I am here for you. So just, you know, check out my links. Allison R. Allison R. Dolphin. Joy. Open the power of joy throughout movement and play. So little things, right? This is kind of your inner child healing thing. Like what makes you happy? So if you can do something, I don't care if it's listening to a playlist that reminds you of a happy time in your youth, but anything you can to invoke that inner child and make it happy. Like for me, sometimes that's like thrifty ice cream, like whatever it is, right? All right, who is next? It's much chiller today, right, guys? Are you guys feeling like this is a better energy situation? Yesterday was a little crazy. Um, I missed who's next. I'm sorry, Justina. You have it. Vanessa. Hi, sweet Vanessa. It's been so long. Look how pretty. I want you to look. So pretty. Sacred Grove. Guidance. Travel into the power places to receive the guidance you are seeking. And again, you are doing that. You are here. Being here shows that you're exactly where you need to be, that you're, you know, following the teachers, doing the things. And like I said, I am always available. The shadow work um, texting club is amazing because it really does keep you in your shadow work. It keeps you aware of your shadow, your behavior. It helps you to really witness, right? So that is a great way to work with me for very little money. Katie L, Katie L, family healing, trust, trust in the support of your earth and soul family. So this is hard. Usually this card comes up if there's something going on with your family that feels extraordinarily difficult and you don't know how to find the trust or how to find the way. Um, but let me tell you, they're there for you. There is a way, right? But that's going to be on the way you respond to situations so much of how that works, right? So work with me one-on-one -on -one if there's questions you have about that. Oop, who is next? Okay, Deborah C. Deborah C., so you know, this kind of fell out. Um, I'm not big on jumpers, and I'm not big on, like, chaotic shuffling. But I want you to know, Deborah, this was screaming at you. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. I love the imagery, too. It's amazing. Deborah C., this is my favorite card in this deck. And it says, Dark Goddess, Grief. Now is the time 
for sensing grief as a gift from the heart. So, you know, when we're grieving, no matter what it is, sometimes we're grieving a life we thought we would have. Sometimes we've actually lost someone that we really love. We work so hard to move past the grief because we're so uncomfortable in the discomfort of it. But the truth is you got to feel it. You really have to feel it to get um, where you need to go. So let's see who is next. I have somebody trying to book my 12 o'clock appointment today. If you guys want it, get it because... Oh, I'm sending so much love, Deborah. I'm sending so much love. Taylor, sweet Taylor, goddess of vibration, truth. Allow all your words and actions to reflect your truth. I love this. I love this so much. I'm being spammed, you guys, at the same time um, in one of my DMs because someone's trying to get an appointment. So if I'm going in and out, I apologize. Give me one sec. Hi, Tina. You will get put on the list. Oh, thank you guys for the gifts. You have no idea how much the gifts help me. I mean, honestly, like running a small business is so expensive. You get like nickels and dimes on every single thing that you need. So Amber, Amber, here we go. Amber, Raven Goddess Magic. Oh, how I love this. Fly into the darkness to reveal the light within you. Well, you are part of the Shadow Work Club and you are doing just that. And I'm so glad. And um, just to keep witnessing behavior and understanding coming from a place of understanding and love. Let's see. Missy. Hi, Missy. Thanks for the flowers, you guys. Thank you for the gifts. Honestly, real talk. Um, Missy, Aphrodite, become attuned to the fertile ground within you. So obviously I don't think you're having another baby, but I do think that the things that you're trying to achieve with work are all happening. I know it doesn't feel like it, but it's all happening. Your ground is fertile. You are creating these whole new pathways to an existence that you really, really want. So just know that and trust it. Trust the journey. Who is that? Justina, I thought so. Justina, owl, wisdom. Look at that. Ooh. Use all your senses to perceive the wisdom and information you are seeking. Yeah, no more babies. I love this because you're doing this. And I know that it's a lot. And I know that you're taking on a lot. And I know it's painful. And I know it's a lot to see. And I know it's a lot to know. But you are seeing it really clearly. And it's beautiful. Welcome, welcome. I love when new people come in. Drop your first name, last initial, and you will also get a card. Kathy S. Hi, sweet Kathy. It's been so long. Kathy S. Krishna Radna. Love. Oh, I love this. Open your heart to the divine love that is present. So sometimes we're so busy looking for love, we don't realize how much love is around us. Whether that's like our very loyal pet, you know, our familiar that's always there. There is love all around you. So just know that in times that you feel lonely or times that you feel alone. You're not alone. You are very loved. Who is next? I'm going to take a sip. Linda. Hi, Linda. Linda M, solar plexus chakra, fire. Ignite the powerful energy of your individual light. So often when I get pull a solar plexus card, there's some change you want to make. Like maybe you're thinking of changing your hairstyle or there's some outfit or some shoes that don't look like something you would usually wear, but you feel really, really called to it. Make those changes. Make those changes for your identity that speak to you. You're allowed to do that. Who is next? Oh, that's okay, Missy. We appreciate you. Thank you for being here when you could. It means so much to us. Hi, welcome. Hi, Leslie M. Hi, Leslie M. The Phoenix. The Phoenix. And we all know what the Phoenix is. Fire of transformation. Be willing to rise up and again and again and you will be successful. And here's the thing. We, um, you always rise up, right? It's so interesting because when we're in these cycles of like depression or cycles of feeling alone or hermiting, we always come out of them. Even if we don't feel like we can, even when we're in it. So just know that that's a time of deep healing when you're in that. And when you're ready to rise out, you'll be here. Who is next? And if for some reason, Oh, I know. You know what? My daughter was home for a week. Thank you. You're so sweet. Uh, my daughter was home from college for a week. So that ate up a lot of my attention. I try really hard when my kids are home or with families around to like 
um, really disconnect, you know, and be present for them. Um, so thank you. You're so sweet. Emma N. Also, you guys, if you think you missed your reading or you had to go, the replay will be up on YouTube. So you can check that out. It usually goes up within 20, 12 to 24 hours. So you can check that out. Same username, same picture. Emma N. Here we go. Emma N. Crown Chakra Infinite. Crown Chakra. That's right here. This divine connection is the bridge waiting to be crossed. So you are attuned. You are aware. You are intuitive. You probably have the gift of healing, right? So continue to work on that. And if you feel like you're different, for some reason, you feel like you beat to your own drum, just know that that's because you are one of us. Welcome to the healing area. Who is next? And if you guys have specific questions, you can cash up or Venmo me. Just let me know because... I'm not getting alerts for some reason. Brianna W. Brianna W. Hi, Brianna. Brianna W. Dawn, sexuality. The masculine and feminine within you are receiving healing now. So just know I want you to sometimes concentrate around, um, close your eyes and envision a ball of white light healing you and coming on and coming around it's beautiful taylor can you get my venmo up there for them they just asked there it is they just put it up thanks taylor you're the best you are the best sarah ask me that in venmo and i will answer it sarah s sarah s one of my favorite people is named sarah butterfly goddess metamorphosis um you are reaching completion on this part of your journey. Prepare to rise higher. So when you see this, it means that all the hard stuff, and it's been really hard, it's been really tough. It's starting to come. It's starting to go away. Things are being cleared. Things are getting easier. Things are getting better. Who is next? Who is next? We have 17 more minutes. 17 more minutes. So keep dropping those names. Let's see. And I don't think I've had any cash shops or Venmos, but Gabrielle S. Gabrielle S. Drop your first name, last initial to get a card only one time. Reflection, hero pose. Embark on the journey to invite an acceleration of your soul's path here on earth. So I think you're already there. I think you already know and you're kind of being called in a different direction and you're trying to make the necessary adjustments to make that work right so just know you're already doing what you're being called to do just continue on that path and don't you know don't question the journey trust the journey when you're being called to something trust that all right elizabeth s elizabeth s this is such nice energy in here today um dear compassion accept everything as it is and find compassion for all in this situation we move mountains when we come from a place of love, compassion, and empathy instead of a place of judgment out of ego. So this is just some shadow work, right? When you find yourself responding in a judgmental way or a way that you don't really love, witness it. Be really gentle with yourself and say, what is this triggering in me? What is this bringing up for my childhood that's making me feel some sort of way, right? Um, and then when you witness the behavior, you'll find that you do it less. Witness it without judgment, though. Like, same thing with yourself. You know, be kind to yourself when you see behaviors that you're not super proud of. Lisa M. Lisa M. Bear protection. This is for Lisa M. Go inward and connect to the space of shelter and inner wisdom. You are protected. Beautiful. Beautiful. Who is next? Quinn. I love that name. Hi, Quinn. Shiva. Transcendence. Transcendence. Prepare to step into your seat of higher awareness and conscious action. So I feel like when this comes up, something might happen. Something might happen that you don't like at all. You might be in a situation where you feel like you have to make some choices you don't know how to make. Trust your intuition. Trust the way you're handling it. Work through it. Look for guidance if you need it, but really, really beautiful. Who is next? Keep tapping that screen. Keep tapping that screen for the moderators. They're amazing. We could not do this without them, and we try so hard to make this be a really loving, safe space, and that's so much of their doing. Renee E., not my Renee E., but my Renee E. every morning. 
Um, Siswati, creative expression. Use your creative gifts and exploration as a way to expand and grow. And I love this, especially because we're on a very creative app, right? So sometimes we're like waiting. We're waiting for that next thing, or we don't feel like we're creative enough, or we don't know, feel like we can do that. You can. This is your call. You can do it. Who is next? Hi, Nathan. Hi, Lynn. Heather W. Heather W. Sky Messenger, freedom. Let go of restrictions and set yourself free. Fuck, this should be my card. I love it. I love this card and I feel like this answered anything and you don't need my two cents. Who is next? Hi, Chevelle. Hi, Chloe. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Donella. Cindy, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. Thank you for thanking me. Cindy, wolf, communication. Notice your ability to convey ideas through words and expression. So I love this. I love the full moon in the back because you're releasing any doubts, like the symbolism in this. This right here releases any doubts of your ability to communicate, any doubts of your ability to say what you need to say in a powerful, straightforward way that make your boundaries really clear. God, what a beautiful card. Hi. Okay. Who is next? Hi. Hi. Dream a little dream. Hi, I just posted on my story. I was at this place called Sweet Dreams in Berkeley that I love. Lucia, Lucia, ooh, Lucia. How does this make you feel when you look at it? Sacral, chak sacral chakra, water. Connect to the inner dwelling place of joy and pleasure. I think we all know what this means. Who is next? So if you're feeling some way about somebody and you're trying to not, you know, move forward with it, I think your sacral chakra is telling you something totally different. Alyssa, Alyssa, that was almost my name, Alyssa. Priestess, intuition. Connect to the highest wisdom of the divine feminine. So just know you are connected to that divine feminine wisdom. That intuition, that feeling that you have, you trust that, you listen to that. That is your divine feminine telling you to how to act accordingly. Um, everybody gets one free card. If you have a specific question, you can cash up or Venmo me. Donna, but everybody gets one free card. So it's free. Donna. Abundance of earth, release the obstacles to receiving abundance in perfect form. So I want you to work on affirmations and shadow work around abundance blocks. I want you to really, really talk to yourself about that you deserve it. I want you to tap and say things like, I deserve abundance. I deserve everything. I deserve the universe to provide for me. And it's going to be really uncomfortable because truthfully, you don't think that you deserve it, right? So it's a very hard thing to work through because you got to say it until you believe it. And it takes some time, but you will get there. It doesn't happen overnight, but you will get there. And if you're trying to work on manifestation type stuff and that's something you're working at, check out my um, moon manuals. Melissa S. Melissa S. Um, divine flow, confidence, let go of doubt and move forward confidently. So the thing about confidence, they said this in euphoria and it was so true. The thing about confidence is nobody knows you're faking it, right? So you can, you know, with a little cognitive behavioral therapy, you can change your whole mindset around confidence, right? Who is next? Yeah, you'll, the moon handles are great. They're like 22 a year and it's the new moon's in two days. So we're going to be doing deep manifesting. I was going to ask you guys, um, actually it's tomorrow. Do you guys want to do the moon manuals in the morning? If you do, let me know. Tina L. If you want to do the moon manuals in the morning, um, do me a favor and put like a moon emoji up so I can see. If you don't want to, that's fine. We don't have to. But it is nice to do it together sometimes. Tina L. Tina L. Um, warrior. Empowerment. Call on your inner strength and stamina as you establish your place in the world. Good morning. Hi, Bassett Mama. Hi, Bassett Mama. Yeah, no, you guys don't want to do the moon manuals in the morning. So this is um, the new moon in Aries, and it's all about manifesting. We want to manifest in the new moon, and we release and we let go in the... Um, we release and we let go in the full moon. So this is all about manifesting. And that's the energy around this. And it's really good shadow work because it makes us, you know, answer shadow work questions and prompts. Cheyenne, root chakra, wisdom of the earth. Connect with earth as a means of realigning your energy. I cannot tell you how often I walk around barefoot, even on the concrete. It doesn't matter. If I can't get to like a big tree because I don't live near big trees, 
Um, that rooting, that grounding is so important. So go be barefoot for a little while. I couldn't find my moon emoji. Oh, you guys are so cute. Dana R, Dana R, Dana R. Fish pose, release, release. Let go of those things that no longer serve you. Surrender to your higher self and release all judgments. And again, that's what those shadow work moon manuals do. They really help us to witness, release, accept, let go. Um, that is how I healed myself to the extent that I have on my health journey was just becoming really, really patient and accepting and loving instead of fighting. I was always fighting to get better, fighting, and it was so hard. Um, Joe, hold on. Kristen, Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Mountain pose, stability. Oh, God, the way I love stability. Align with the stability of earth for grounding and support. Open your higher vision as you do. So that's the thing I was talking about. The way I shuffle, the way I do everything. Part of, I think, why you guys like it here and you feel safe is I try to do everything from a really grounded perspective. It took me years to get here. Years to get here. But I think that being grounded makes everything a little easier. Okay, guys, nine minutes, nine minutes. I'm going to end like the next three minutes. I'm going to close the cash shops and Venmos. So, and don't forget, you guys, I think I still have two appointments today. If you want to get them, they start at $44. Nikki M, Nikki M, the dancer, balance. Activate your willingness to enter the dance. What I love about this is sometimes we're pushed too far and we don't know how to push back. And the way they say the dance is it's this dance with life. People will try to take too much from you and you have to say, this is all I can give, right? And it's a push pull and it's a dance and it's beautiful, but it's on you to hold those boundaries. Who is next? Who is next? Then we're going to shuffle again. Lisa A. Lisa A. Golden goddess, golden goddess, so beautiful. The golden abundance of the universe is opening up to you. So Lisa, listen, when cards like this come up, it usually means that there's gonna be somebody, a soul person that your soul aligned with that has been sent to you to help you on your journey. I want you right now just to say yes. Start saying yes to things and see what doors open. And believe that the people who are coming into your life have been sent there for the purpose of your higher good. Tina. Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. Tina, water goddess in the flow. Our true nature embodies the ebb and flow of life's pleasure. So when things are down, they will go up. When they are up, they will go down. It's secular and it's always happening. We never get to get out of this thing and just have it be easy peasy, right? We go through these things and the more we try to control these things, the harder our life is. The more we learn to go with the flow, um, the easier the transitions are. The one thing that's guaranteed in life is change and death and taxes. And it's really, really hard, but those are the things that we need to learn how to count on, you know? Maria G, Maria G. Heart chakra, wisdom of love and compassion. Open your heart and see the whole world inside of you, right? So there's something that you're kind of closed off to. And I don't, and I understand. I want to be clear, Maria, I get it. Like life has not been kind to you in a lot of ways. Like some shit's happened and it's hard to trust. But this is a sign to open your heart. This is a sign to start to try to trust. This is a sign that it's happening for you, not to you. And I know it's hard and I know it sucks and I know it's painful, but you can get through this. I assure you, you are filled with so much love. All right, who is next? I am going to close out. Yep, yeah, thank you. Last call for questions. Beth R, Beth R. Chakra balance, peace. Through energy, breathe and balance energies, the greatest sense of peace. So we're going through a little something in our family right now that's been really hard. And how I've been coaching everyone is to watch your breathing. Watch your breathing. See how you're feeling. So when you start to feel really stressed, pay attention to if you're breathing from here or you're breathing from here. And try to breathe from here. Breathing changes everything. Um, all right, you guys, we are finishing up right now. Gina E, Gina E, Gina E, Lion, Courage. Whatever it is that you're afraid of, I want you to know you can do it. 
whatever it is that you can't confront and I know that you know is happening, but you don't want to admit it and you can't see it and you don't know what to do, trust me, you can do it. You can do it. No matter how afraid you are, you've got this. Who is next? If you think you missed your reading for any reason, if you had to leave, if you have to close out of the live, um, check out the replay on YouTube. Same photo, same username. Gabriella, Gabriella, camel pose, opening. Open the doorway to your heart and discover a treasure within. So this is again telling you to trust. This is telling you to trust the person you're afraid to trust for whatever reason. Move, you're not ready to let go, so you should move forward, but you've got to move forward with trust and you've got to believe. Who is next? We're just finishing up. We're in our last three minutes here. And then, um, unfortunately, I have to go be with clients, but we will be back tomorrow again at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sarah Guadalupe, forgiveness. Forgive yourselves and others. Awaken a deeper opening of the heart. So I'm going to tell you something. Forgive yourself for all the things you didn't know before right? There's a lot of times we've made a lot of mistakes. We're human. We have to make mistakes to learn. So forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for those things. It's so important. Oop. Jackie. Is that my Jackie? Is that Jackie Jackie? If it's Jackie Jackie, say, hey. Um, hold on. Jackie. Here we go. Jackie. Goddess of vibration. Truth. Allow all your words and actions to reflect your truth. So try really, really hard to speak from a place of intention, right? And when you don't, because you won't, you're going to lose your shit and sometimes you won't, right? Especially in this Aries energy. When you don't, forgive yourself and walk through with yourself how you could have handled it better, right? Who is next? In this Aries energy, we're all a little reckless. We're all feeling some sort of way, so... Who is next? Maria G, water goddess. This is another go with the flow, right? Life is really hard. There's down times, there's up times, but you gotta go with the flow and trust the journey, right? That was for Mar Maria G, Maria G. Manpreets, Manpreets? I don't, I hate when I say things wrong, Manpreets. Creative expression. Use your creative gifts as a way to expand and grow. So if you're feeling afraid to take that step into some creative avenue, whatever that is, maybe that's starting your social media for a business. Maybe that's you want to write something. Whatever it is, you can do it. So trust that you can do it. Don't tell yourself you can't. Don't listen to that inner critic. Of course, you're so welcome. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed this. So did we decide we want to do the moons tomorrow morning? So you guys know there's free moon manual. It's always the same though, and it doesn't change. Usually they change every, it's different every time you get it. If you want to download them, you can get the free one or you can download the $2 one to try it so you have them in the morning. Otherwise, I will read them to you and you can use them that way. But if you want to see them, have them touch them, do it like that. Lynette, reflection, hero pose. Embark on a journey to invite the, elix, the acceleration of the soul's path here on earth. And it's things like shadow work and manifesting and releasing and accepting and forgiveness. That is how we go on our soul's journey. Um, who did I? Last card is mine. Okay, you guys. I'm going through this thing. So let's see if I get some good guidance. Okay, ready? I'm putting a lot of energy into this. Okay. Let's see what it says. Insight, spiritual teacher. <laughs> oh, I guess that means I know all the answers. So I may though, I may ask a friend for some advice. All right, you guys, thank you for being here today. I think we should do the new moon manual. Okay. You guys want to do the manuals tomorrow? I'm going to go with a yes that we're going to do it. Um, I love you guys. Have the best day. Like I said, try to grab those two appointments while they still, they may be gone. My thing was going a lot, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. If you didn't get a reading, try to get on first thing at 8 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow morning. I only have a half hour because I have to go prepare for my clients that start at nine. So if for some reason, um, if you didn't get it, um, come at right at eight and then that way you'll get chosen. Okay. 
and not even chosen. That way you'll be at the top of the list. All right, bye you guys. Hugs.